this. So start on this marker. Okay. Um, start with, yeah, for you, start looking at this marker because okay. that actually is the one where the dog is. Oh, let me just okay. get it away. Yeah, there he is. Why don't you uh, tap him? Pet him. I guess you can tell him to go to another marker. Yeah. Yeah, if he goes over to his water bowl, bottle of water bowl over here, he'll eat. So the system actually only knows about one marker to, to start with, and, okay. it, and Kim, this is actually designed to work with a deck of cards. So you have to see kind of pairs of markers in order I to, see. to do it, in order to make the transitions. I see. Um, oh, We're actually thinking of making a deck of cards that oh, has, that's trackable, so you can buy like a 52 card deck of cards and then yeah. play multiple games on it. Which is because part of the problem with these things is the props. Right. Um, now, eventually, if you go to uh, Dizix's booth, the people making head-mounted displays, they make the one for the iPhone, you know, the video, video yeah. eyewear stuff. Um, they're doing some demos with a company called Meta.io. Then you probably saw the Tops AR. I don't know. So we're using vertex shaders for animation. You know, a, a couple of dozen thousand polygon animated models now, and we're not doing anything special to get the graphics to be fast on this. Really, I mean, Kim's a good programmer, so. So this uh, this uses the SGX. This no, this is Nvidia's hardware, but it's roughly right. in the same ballpark. Um, so this is the APX 2500, which is, I mean, if you go talk to the guys at NVIDIA, they're, they probably have demos going on this. Um, we've got actually nice videos recorded on the video out of this. If you can. Okay. Um, I can, if you have a USB stick, I can give you stuff. But, uh, but this is kind of, you know, so to me, the big thing is now, you know, I, I tell my students, it's kind of like, imagine, uh, you know, Risk, Monopoly, Settlers of Catan, all of these board games that are really popular. Right. But now you can have a computer game on top of it. And, right, right, right. No, that's kind of amazing. Um, and, you know, what we really found in our, in our studies is that people really start to socialize and interact much more than they do when they're playing multiple, head to head, even... Uh, uh, collaborative games or competitive games on, on say, DS's or, or iPhones. Right, right. Is, um, this is, yeah, this is really kind of amazing. Um, there you go.